Hey Sam, welcome to Claire's Learning Corner, aka my bed. Today's topic will be geology. What, what, what? Actually, econoids and mythology. Now, econoids are basically just sea urchins or sand dollars. Econoids are a kind of species. They're plant. They come in these, like, they either come in these, like, little balls that are covered in long spikes, or they come in flatter layers that are covered with short, closer together spikes. There are 900 different species of echinoids. What craziness. There's only one species of humans, so they have us beat there. And they've also been around for a really long time, 400 million years. 400 million years. Humans probably won't survive that long. No offense, humans, but I mean, look what we've done in the past couple thousand years. So, echinoids are super cool, and humans are super into fossil echinoids. We've made them t tools and jewelry, and here's a picture of a hand axe that has a fossil echinoid in it. This is from the early Paleolithic period, which was quite a long time ago. But we've also used them in tons of mythology. But they've, they've been used in mythology all around the world. Pretty much everywhere, but North America, Australia, and Antarctica. Four out of the seven continents, which isn't bad. And Asia is a big continent, so why am I still talking? So these fossils were believed to protect the home from evil spirits, and um, in the Celtic culture, they were called shepherd's crowns, or they're called fairy loaves, because they think they look like little loaves for fairies, which is adorable, oh my god. Um, and they thought that if you kept a fossil econoid in your house, then you would never go without bread, and that if bakers kept them near their oven, then the bread would always rise, which is just lovely. Norse mythology called these thunderstones um, because they believed that Thor sent the echinoids down in during lightning storms. Um, they also believed that it could repel lightning storms and protect the house from lightning strikes. The people of ancient Greece believed that fossil echinoids came from Zeus, who is the Greek god of lightning. So there was a connection there. In ancient Egypt, miners offered fossil echinoids to their gods as offerings. In New Guinea, people believed that you had to speak the truth in the presence of fossil echinoids. And fossil echinoids in Jordan were believed to be fertility charms. Um, fossil echinoids are super important. Top aces. I felt super adult with my blazer because I did a presentation on this today. It is tired. It is. I'm referring to myself as it. It's been a long duck. But it's over and I get to see you tomorrow. Ah, yay! That's so exciting. I never get to see you.